All right, Salawam Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakaku Dash. I want to give double honors to the positive of the great millstone and Shalom to the elect that teaches word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, man, um, I just want to uh, send this lesson around 1 Samuel um, 16 and verse 4 because um, IUIC is not lining up with the scriptures, man. Because matter of fact, before I get this, I'm gonna get another precept. Because uh, yeah, IUIC man, um, they really prophesying peace. They they really don't want America to fall down, man. You know, and, and, and let you know that they got and they got love for two thirds too, man. Because uh, you should want Jake to get two thirds to get their, their judgment, man. You know, you should you should want for Jake to. Uh, for the Lord to put that 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 uh that fire to Jake, man. You know because that's what they need. You know, but uh, let me get this scripture real quick. This is Ecclesiastes three and verse one. It said, "To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven." So yeah, man, it is a time and for everything, man. You know, and I'm gonna um. Let me jump down to the to the point. This verse eight, it says, "This is Ecclesiastes three and eight. It says, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace." And yeah, man, and we all understand that um, kingdoms are going to be transferred. Yeah, man. Kingdom. Matter of fact, let me, let me get this. See, I think it's in. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, cause, cause, cause. Um, let's see. This is Matthew's eleven and twelve. It said, "And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered the violence, and the violent take it by force." And yeah, and, and um, that's the and that's that's the uh. Uh, suffered violence taken by and the violence it, it was taken by force man so when the kingdoms are being transferred was because we was taken violently man we was being um um being under suggestion we we had to went through that violently man you know and and um that's how it's going to be when the kingdoms are getting transferred. It's going to be a violent transfer, man. Because Yahweh Shah said, if, if it deal with my kingdom, my servants shall fight. Well, that's not a peaceful, peaceful way to, uh, to, 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 to transfer kingdoms, man. Because you got to understand, see, uh, let me get Exodus 15 and verse 3. This is the mindset of the Lord. It said, the Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. So the Lord Yahweh Shah is a man of war, man. What's we'll it? A time of war and a time of uh time of peace and a time of war, a time of love and a time of hate. Well, Yahweh Shah is a man of war, man. You know. So that lets you know, man, that um it's not time to be marching. Fucking niggas, man. Time to march and prophesying peace, man. Cause that's what these niggas doing, man. You know, and you, you so called a prophet, but this, this, well, these was the mindset of the people when a prophet came into town, man. You know, this is uh First Samuel sixteen and four. It said, and Samuel did that which the Lord spake, and came to Bethlehem, and the elders of the town trembled at his coming, and said, Comest thou peaceably? Yeah, man, because nine times out of ten, the prophets. A uh, 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 prophesying destruction, man. So when you read the scriptures, you know it is it, 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 is um it is it, 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 it nine times out of ten, man. You're gonna read something about some destruction, man. You know, I'm just gonna let's see quick precept. Uh, let's see, um. Uh, Let's see, uh, Selakia. What is that? Yeah, this is Ezekiel chapter 2. Let me see, I'm starting at 9. It says, it says, um, 
And when I looked, behold, a hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. And that's talking about the scriptures, man. And it said, and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there were written with uh, therein lamentations, mournings, and woe. So lamentations, mourning, and woe. And woe meaning destruction, man. So that don't that don't sound like peace to me, man. So when the Lord He um He opened his eyes to certain men. And they're going to speak his words, you know, and 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 and, and, and what's come behind that lamentations, mourners, and woe, man. Because he's a man of war, so you're going to have casualties. You know, shit going to happen, man. These niggas that they they're prophesying um peace, man. Basically, you know, but you 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 supposed to be so called prophets, but when when uh when Sammy came in in the Bethlehem. They asked them, they was trembling, man. You know, because you supposed to be blowing the trumpet, you know. This is Amos 3 and 6. This is, uh, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and a people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? So, yeah, we supposed to be blowing this trumpet, man. You know that this kingdom is going down. You should be blowing that trumpet because the Lord is, is sending the land, uh, a sword upon the land, man. You supposed to be warning the people, man, about the 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 the, the coming destruction, man. So it said. So when Samuel, uh, when they asked Samuel, is he coming down peaceably? He said, "Yeah, peaceably I come, but that that's for a different thing. Now the Lord is, is he's he's uh there's a time and place for everything, and it's time for this place to be plucked up, man." And what we're doing, we're prophesying the downfall of it, man. These niggas are, are prophesying peace, man. This is Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. It said, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. So, that's, like I said, nine times out of ten. It's certain prophets that did prophesy peace. You know, but nine times out of ten is bad news, man. It said, both against many countries. And against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Yeah, you know I mean, you know that that, that why I said that. Um, I'm gonna continue on. I said the prophet which prophesied of peace when the world of the prophet shall come to pass, then the, shall the prophet be known that the Lord have truly sent him. Yeah, it said then shall the prophet had uh, then shall they know that the prophet had been among him. Well, we're gonna understand that. Uh, um, niggas of IUIC, those coons, they, they're not prophets, man. Because we understand that the Lord, Yahweh Shemuel, when He come back, He's coming back with a sword, man. He's coming back, and He's gonna um, say He's gonna take all the crowns, man. It's not gonna be a peaceful transfer of the kingdom, man. You know. Let's see, um. Matter of fact, let me see the Jeremiah 23. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah, this is um this is um Jeremiah 23. I'm going to start at 16. It said, Thus said the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and do and, and not out of the mouth of the Lord. And yeah, they, they, they do make you vain because you niggas are commending them for marching, man. You know, and through the Spirit, the Lord said, said uh, had IUIC do that to, to mark a lot of niggas. Because now they know about Israel, and it tells you on uh, scriptures. It says, um, "Um, this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world. Then the end shall come." Where well, the Lord set that up to mark a lot of niggas, man. You know, it said they say they say still and say unto them that despise me, the Lord have said, "You shall have peace," and they shall say unto everyone that walketh after their imagination of his own heart. No evil shall come upon you. And that would these niggas, yeah you know I mean, they living it up, man. 
<clears throat> they, you know, what I mean, march and talking about stop the violence. Well, you, you, you should, you should, you should, um, you should be carnal, but you should understand that hey, the judgment of two thirds that that that's that's they got to come to pass, man. Zechariah thirteen, man. It says Israel is the sand of the sea, so it's gonna be a lot of Jake that's gonna die, man. That lets you know we're getting closer to the kingdom, man. Two thirds got to go, man. You know, um, let's see, I got another priest out. Let's see, um, let's see. Matter of fact, mm, matter of fact, let me go back to that. Um, yeah, there's Ezekiel, Ezekiel 33. Matter of fact, that was there. Yeah. yeah, this is Ezekiel 33, and, um, in verse one, because this is the point. This is the point of yeah. How about Shimei was shy? He uh, he told us man, we we probably be preaching, man. We probably be prophesying, which means to say before. Yeah, you know I mean, before it comes, we telling you that all hell's finna break loose. The 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 uh, the, the, the end of America is is, is here, man. Discretion is coming. That's what we. That's what we. That's the main message, man. Destruction is coming to America. That's the main message. That's why it says, um, why well, tell your ear preach ye upon the housetops because when you uh well you on a you know on a housetop, you you know, like uh back in the old movies or something, somebody on the top of a house and he's saying, you know, hey man, this and that, this and that. Well you you want everybody to hear this and, and, and like this is a sense of urgency. That that trumpet, when you blow the trumpet, that means you need you gotta be in a sense of urgency, man. You know, but this is Ezekiel 33 and 1. It said, again, the, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, so it says, Son of man, speak unto the church of that people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their, of their coast and set him for their watchman. So the, so you how about Shemel told told Ezekiel, he going to send the sword upon the land. He said he he said when I bring the sword upon the land. That's why I says um it, the um the the, the um uh slack you. Matter of fact, let me get that back in um uh, in Amos. This Amos three and six. It says, "Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it?" You see what I'm saying? We blowing that trumpet. We telling you the Lord, you have by Shimei was shot. He he's the guy behind this. He's 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 the one, the power behind this, man. Yeah, you know I man. Let's say when he when he bring though, I say when the Lord come back, it's gonna be utter destruction, man. You know, going back to the Ezekiel 33. And, you know, if you know, you overlook that said. You know that when he bring it said when the Lord when he when it said when I bring the sword upon the land. So this all this is all the um the workings of Yahweh by Shem Shine. This is his um this is how he get down, man. You know, it said if when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. And and, and that's what we're doing now, man. We're not coming in a um we're not preaching of peace right now, man. We're telling you that the, the um that the um yeah, all hell is coming to America, man. Famine, race wars, ultimately the missiles. We we're warning the people, man. From from your how about see me outside? I think it's on down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, we keep on going. It says um. It says, then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take him not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. So we understand that Jake is not going to get it. Two thirds of Jake is, is not going to hearken unto this trumpet, man. You know, it said, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that take a warning shall deliver his soul. So niggas that, that for uh, that for baddest word, we warning you like we warning you to um for this punch in the gut, man. We already bracing for it, but we telling you to brace for that punch in the gut. You know you can 
now you can harden you see that that, that that that's heavy man because you know the uh, to endure to make hard well you gotta harden your belly man you know a punch in the gut that's you know you your belly when you harden your mind for what's finna go down you're gonna see motherfuckers getting their head blowed off people gonna be eating people you're gonna see a nigga that was 350 pounds in the world now he 162 pounds man and that's just all skin yeah you know i mean because of the famine man that's what we wanted you people from but 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 hey it's two-thirds ain't gonna get it man we're not prophesying peace, man. No, but I did. Uh, matter of fact, when I let me before I continue on, let me go ahead and get. It. I know I quoted it, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. It's Matthew 10 and 27. It says, "What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetop." So a lot of people is um is um in the dark about. What the Bible truly means, man. What the, what the Bible truly uh, stands for, and what it really says in the scriptures, man. And we really we bringing it out. We letting you know the Lord is not that 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 that, that man that that loving, kindly power, man. Nah, the Lord can get cold with you too, man. Or it says, uh, continue on as Ezekiel said, warn them from me. You know. But uh, yeah, this is Ezekiel chapter 33. Let's see. Um, in verse 6, it says, But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. See, because you 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 uh you guys at IUIC, you you ain't um you ain't warning the people, man. You're not. Only thing you're doing is bringing out Deuteronomy 28 chapter, man. You know, at this point, Jake should already have a skin. Really, at this point, uh, you should, you should, uh, you know, Jake, you know, come in and babes and everything. But you should be able to have, you should have teeth at this point, man. At, at this point now, in 2018, the year of prophecy, you should have teeth, man. Not just the skin. You should already have the skin and all that. You should be grown. You should be weaning out the milk, man. You should be able to have. You should be. You should have teeth, man, to be able to digest this. You know that lets you know. Um, IUIC is 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 is, is, is uh, not the uh, um a watchman of your house by some hours shy, man. You know, and and and, and he, he, your blood should be uh, uh, uh you know that uh, the Lord is going to require you know when I'm continuing on it says so thou O son of man I have set thee a wise man unto the house of Israel therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me and who, who is the Lord's mouth the prophets man and what the prophets doing they we're warning you from your how by Shemia was shot and the coming discretion of America man You know, and matter of fact, I'm gonna jump all the way down to um, um, verse 33, and this is um, this is Ezekiel 30, um, 33. You know what? I'm gonna start at um, I'm just gonna get to the point. It says, "And when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them." And yeah, and, and when, what what come to pass? All this discretion, man. And um, as a matter of fact, let me, let me cause cause it says you the righteous is gonna be scarcely saved. We're gonna be being delivered while the missiles are being dropped down, man. As a matter of fact, this is uh and this is how they're gonna know that a prophet have been among them. You know, well, one of the reasons, cause uh it, the Lord is gonna give us spiritual powers, Lord, one part of that number, the um you know, when all hell breaks loose to a certain extent. You know, they're going to know who the Lord dealing with. And I said, then so they know who am I chosen. But that ultimate is when you see the um, men uh, of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is being beamed up, man. You know, it, um, let's see. Let me get to the point. I'm going to start at 2. It says, Wisdom Psalm 5 and 2 it said, When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strain of his salvation so far beyond that they look for. And what is that? Those um, The strain of salvation is those those um, 
so called UFOs, which are the cherries of, of the most high, man. It said, and they repenting and groaning for angels of spirits say within themselves, this was he who we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. It said, we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without number, without honor. It says, how he, how is he numbered among the children of the most high and his lot is among the saints? See, then shall they know that a prophet have been among them when, when they see the, uh, the, the missiles, but they see us getting beamed up, man. They then say they know because you know they see. Well, you prophesying peace and you look on the news, ain't no man. We're on the other side of town from peace, man. We're on the other side of town from peace, man. You know, but yeah, Aki, man. Uh, I hope they were edifying until the next time. I just want to say shalom.